digital artist, we are going to learn how to make a value scale using one color. So this is going to be monochromatic, meaning using one color, and we're going to show the change from light to dark with that one color. So to start, grab your ruler, and we're going to make a big rectangle for your value scales. So I'm actually going to make this box the length of my page because my page is 12 inches. And so all I need to do is make a horizontal line on top and one on bottom. Next, we're going to divide the big rectangle into smaller squares. So we're going to make each of these one inch long. So I'm making a little mark on every one inch and then I'm going to just divide those. So check it out, here's a little trick. You can just scoot your ruler over, make a line. When I get to that mark, make a line. And then continue, making vertical lines to divide your big rectangle into 12 boxes. Okay, artist, your first bar box is going to be the lightest in value, and the last box will be the darkest in value. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth box, put a little star, and that is where you're going to put your pure hue that you're choosing. Since this is going to be just monochromatic with one color, choose that hue, I'm choosing blue, and you're going to paint the square, the sixth square, that color. Try to stay within the lines, but if you go outside, that's totally okay. You're going to see that mine is not perfectly in the lines. That's all right. I just want us to practice creating different values of this color. Okay, friends, since the first box is going to be the lightest in value, let's color that one purely white. So our goal is to have the first box painted completely white, and then we're going to add the white to the blue to create some tints. Remember, a tint is when you add white. Think tint, white. Then let's go to the opposite of the value scale, which is your darkest value. And we're going to paint that one actually completely black. So grab your black paint and fill in the box. If your color is not dark enough, then you need more paint. So roll your brush around like I was doing, and that will create a darker value. See that? So we might need some practice with this. That's totally fine. This is our first time doing this. Remember when you change colors to always clean your brush first. All right, let's continue. Now, pick the hue that you started with. I started with blue. And let's go to the darker side of the value scale. We'll do that first, then we'll create the lighter values. All right, so I'm gonna color the first two, or paint the first two boxes um, to the right of my pure hue. And you're gonna see why in just a moment. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Then let's skip and go to the box right next to your darkest value, that black box that you painted. Since we need to create a shade of blue, add black. A little bit will be enough. You can always add more black, but you can't really take away. If you need a darker shade of blue or whatever color you're doing, Try just picking up black and putting it on top. Don't use water. See what happens when you mix that. 
Okay, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Let's put down the pure hue, which mine is blue, and then we're going to create a shade darker of the blue, but it's gonna be a little bit lighter than what we just did. So to create a little bit lighter of a value, I just need a little less black. If it got too dark on accident, you could always add glue on top, but I'm pretty happy with that one. Okay, next square, same thing. It's still going to be a shade, so I have to add a little bit of black. All right, just a little bit. See how I'm swirling it into the blue? That's gonna mix it really nicely. Try that today. Then I dry it. I need maybe a little more blue for that square that I already painted. And I can start to see the changes in value. If I need one of the squares to be darker, just add some black like I'm doing, it's no problem. You can always add more black, but you can't really take away. All right, now let's transition to making some tints. So a tint is created when you put down the pure hue and then you add white. Okay, so watch what I'm doing. I'm just going to lay down some blue. Uh, if I want, I could you could go over that first one that you painted just to make it a little um, darker of a pure hue. That will help with the change in values. All right, so then I'm laying down a, a second one, purely blue, another one, purely blue. But look, I'm adding more water every time, more water, and that's gonna create a lighter value also. This is kind of like with our hand when we don't apply so much pressure. Well, when you apply more water to watercolor, it makes a lighter value. So you can already see the changes in value. But I want this one to be a little bit lighter because it's right next to that purely white square. So you can actually add white watercolor on top. You really have to blend them together. It's actually pretty fun. So I would try that for your second to the left square, just so it creates a more smooth value change. If you ever do apply too much of one color, look at what you can do. You can get your paper towel, find a spot that's clean, and dab it. It's like a sponge. It's gonna soak up some of that color in the watercolor. Then you can use your paintbrush to just kind of smooth it out again. Okay, this is all about experimenting today, creating tints by adding white to your hue, and creating shades by adding black to your hue. Okay, let's take a look up close. You can see the changes in value from very light all the way to very dark. 